Hello folks, welcome to the presentation for the Hedgehog, or the Edgehog, as the girls in the studio like to call it. I must admit, I do like the name Hedgehog, it's got a sort of ring to it. Anyway, here we have the piece. Um, when I'm sculpting a piece like this, it's a completely different sort of endeavour than a larger statement piece, obviously. But equally important, because when you've got a small subject, you still want it to shout loudly. Now to do that, I have to try and bring uh, the true character of the face coming out at you. Now to achieve this, um, I try and adopt a more almost animated caricature style with the sculpt. So even though, yes, I want it to look anatomically like an actual piece, or in this case, a hedgehog, I wanted to make sure that it actually was almost larger than life in that sense. So it looked at you, because ultimately it is a piece of sculpture that I want to put you to put in your home, and I want it to look at you. Also, I decided to sculpt it on its back for a very important reason. Usually, when you see a hedgehog, they're scurrying around and don't see the legs at all. So all you see is a very horizontal piece with a nose almost virtually sticking out, which could look great, but I decided I wanted to bring the little feet and the little hands into play. So I've sculpted it in almost a pre-ball extent like that. Now the piece is actually hollow, even though you cannot tell, you can't tell from uh, this sort of small video. But to achieve that, I've had to sculpt in two sections. That means that when we cast it and we bring the two pieces together, it formulates a shell around the sculpt, meaning that we can get light going through both the sides, the back, and even the belly section at the top. And you have to take my word for it that there, <laughs> which you can't see it at this particular point. I think from a colour palette point of view, yeah, it's, it's got a very autumnal look to it. I know this is the spring, but I think the, the colour palette suits the particular piece. I think, uh, yeah, now I've, I think I've covered everything with it. I think it's time we looked at Dan's 360 presentation that he's already prepared. So off we go to that, folks. Thank you. 